This is a color sensor, and I have this Arduino programmed to use it to recognize different color leaves. So you can see here, if I hold the sensor over this green leaf, the Arduino lights up the green LED. If I hold it over this reddish brown leaf, it lights up the red LED. And if it's just somewhere off here, not over a leaf at all on the white background, it lights up the yellow LED. Now, we have another very detailed tutorial video that tells you all about these sensors, how to wire them, how to write the code to use them, and how to calibrate them to recognize different colors using colored sheets of construction paper. So, I'm not going to repeat all of that in this video. You can find the link to that one in the description. Instead, what I'm going to talk about in this video is the agricultural technology or ag tech applications of this sensor and how you can use it if you would like to do a science project in that context. The potential application here is automatically monitoring plant health. You can imagine that you have a garden or a farm with a bunch of plants and a bunch of leaves, and maybe you can walk around and spot check things, but you can't manually walk through the entire field and check every single plant and every single leaf. So a sensor like this could be mounted on a robot that autonomously and automatically drives around your garden and your field, checking the leaves, and then notifies you when it finds a problem. Now, for a proof-of-concept science project, you could just hold the sensor by hand like I'm doing here, but the great thing about an Arduino is that it's compatible with so many other parts, motors, and sensors. So you could mount this sensor, for example, on a robotic arm. We have a project with instructions to build one of those. Or you could mount it on a mobile robot that drives around. We also have a series of projects with instructions to build that robot, and I'll show a brief clip of it driving around here. You can also combine this color sensor with other sensors. For example, this is an ultrasonic distance sensor that measures the distance to an object by emitting bursts of ultrasonic sound and measuring how far or how long it takes for them to reflect back to the sensor, just like a bat uses sonar to detect objects using sound. And this is important because you'll notice that this color sensor also sort of depends on how far away it is from the object that it's measuring. So it is measuring the amount of light reflected back to the sensor from these LEDs and the ambient light coming in. And the farther away I get from a surface, the less light is reflected back, and that's going to mess up my reading. So you see I'm over a green leaf here, but now it's actually detecting red because I'm too far away. So if you throw an ultrasonic sensor into the mix, you can also measure how far you are from a surface. And for example, if you have it mounted on a mobile robot or a robotic arm, you can move closer and make sure that you are the appropriate distance away before you take your reading. And we have a tutorial about how to use this ultrasonic sensor linked in our Arduino tutorial playlist, again, in the description of this video. One quick note about what you can't really do with this sensor is easily detect very small spots or holes in leaves. So here I have a leaf that has clearly been chewed by insects, so it has some tiny holes in it, and it also has some tinier spots of discoloration and this sensor is measuring the total amount of reflected light from a pretty large area, maybe a circle kind of a couple centimeters in diameter. So it's not going to pick up these tinier individual spots on a leaf. It is just going to measure the total reflected light, which includes some green parts, some holes, and some brown spots on this leaf. So you might be able to sort of scan over the leaf and get an average reading where if the reflected light changes as you go over those brown spots and holes, that's going to be different than if you scan over an entire leaf and you just have solid green the whole way through. So that is technically possible or maybe feasible, but again, it's not going to be as simple as just using the sensor to identify larger blocks of solid color. So if you need a parts list, circuit diagram, example code, instructions for the projects, all of that stuff is available on our website linked in the description. We also have many other cool Arduino projects featured on our YouTube channel and on our website, and we also have over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, not just electronics and Arduino. You can find all of that stuff at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.